sorry, it's DJ. Hey. And my name is Chris Rod. I'm your DJ for uh, Broadcast One, and I've got uh, uh, mga magagandang dilag <laughs> as my guests uh, this afternoon for our first uh, show. I have three shows uh, this Saturday, but uh, it's going to be a busy Saturday, but it'll be all worth it. First uh, off, we're going to talk about business, and these are business women, the power of women. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> yes. We have uh, from Red Deer, Alberta, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. So we're going to go by Siguro alphabetical order because I cannot say ladies first because ladies <laughs> are the two. So we'll go with Alexis Tolentino from Red Deer, Alberta. Please introduce yourself. So hi, everyone. So my name is Maria Alexis Tolentino, and um, I'm a mom of three beautiful kids. Yes, beautiful. Love your own, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm married to Robin Tolentino. He works in the hospital. He's a registered nurse. And I'm running a travel agency here in Alberta. So yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. So Alexis Tolentino from Red Deer, Alberta. She mm -hmm. is. Uh, she runs a travel agency. And mm -hmm. next we have uh, Ferry Cortez, also from Red Deer, Alberta. Hi there, my name is Ferry Cortez and I've been here in Canada since 2008 and I grew up in the in the Philippines in Taytay Rizal and I graduated college back there in uh, St. Paul in Quezon City uh, for a mass communication major in digital media and I, my husband and I just met here in Canada and we have three uh, handsome boys as well, uh, ages like 10, 6 and 2. Okay, so three boys. Parang ano tayo? Yeah. Pareho tayo. Oh, yeah. Three boys. Yeah. <laughs> I three have boys. a five, three, and uh, ilang weeks na ba? Uh, three weeks. Three Another weeks one, old. kuya. Hindi na. Hindi na. Kota na daw. Kota na. <laughs> yeah, kota na. Yeah, that's, uh, no, that's parang the benchmark. Parang three. Three is okay. Well, mm -hmm. anyways, th thank you ladies for uh, gracing broadcast one here uh, with... Uh, your presence here. Thank you for uh, uh, taking away from your busy schedule and uh, being mm -hmm. my guest this afternoon. So uh, we all know we're going to talk about business and business means that uh, uh, you guys are into something that's basically a, a very uh, important business that we're, you guys are doing uh, nowadays. And for mm -hmm. one thing, it's a travel with Alexis. Yeah. Alam mo naman na, uh, is, it, is it okay to say the Filipinos are... Uh, uh, really want to travel or really uh, parang travelers talaga yung mga Filipino? I know, yeah. Most of my passengers actually are Filipinos. Kahit mm -hmm. pandemic, nagtatravel pa rin. <laughs> but syempre, most of the travels naman are essential. So, yeah. Okay. Just want to clarify. So, Alexis, mm -hmm. you cater not only to the Filipino community, but also uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's for everybody, correct? Yep, yep. For everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And for Ferry Cortez, uh, What's happening uh, during the pandemic is that uh, online selling has been a uh, a boom in in yeah, in, in, right. in the service uh, would say a service. So, uh, uh, Ferry Cortez, you're doing online business. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So online business and travel. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the question to Alexis um, mm -hmm. for travel. Um, Alexis, how many people have you helped so far? Uh, well, since you started your travel business, how many people I've helped? Uh, let's just put it this way: I've assisted more than two hundred passengers, I guess, ever since I started. Because wow. mm -hmm. I've been doing this here in Canada for probably more than three years, but I've mm -hmm. been in travel business for more than a decade. Because prior to migrating here in Canada, I used to work in Korean Airlines back in the Philippines. Oh, wow. Yeah, as the executive assistant to the country manager, admin, and finance. So, travel agency, travel business is really my blood. So, yeah. You know what? When you say Korean Air, that's uh, probably one of our uh, favorite uh, uh, airlines to travel with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alam mo, gusto ko yung gusto ko yung ano? Gusto yung stopover sa Korea. I know, uh, right? <laughs> yung merong merong lounge. You know, there's a I shower know. area. Talagang you can yeah. relax 
um, uh-huh. siguro meron kang 10 to 12 hour uh, stopover and then yes. you, you just really want good. to relax. <laughs> Which is good, di ba? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so you can Korean. go, you know, there's a transit tour as well. So, I can do that. Yeah, 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 the tour. Yeah, I've I've yeah, yeah. I've done a uh-huh. tour uh uh-huh. with with Korean Air. Air. Uh, pinakain mm-hmm. kami ng mga one restaurant there uh, downtown I think was yes. uh, they introduced us to the the Korean that really the traditional Korean food not just yeah. the one that uh-huh. we, we can eat, you know, anywhere yeah. in the restaurant in the here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um w- with regards to helping uh you know, uh the Filipino uh, we're, we're talking about within the Filipino community, the, the travel uh-huh. and everything. Ano bang mga sakit sa ulo yung na-encounter mo uh, re- with regards to being a travel uh, manager? Well, drink, well, especially in pandemic, you know, well, refunds. We get a lot of refunds okay. because yeah. people are scared to travel, right? Which is understandable. Even myself, I don't want to travel, right? Especially I have kids. So refunds, cancellations, and, you know, long waits when you call the airlines to rebook, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I give a little something to my passengers, right? So yes, when people refund the ticket, well, we have to return the commission as well. So sabi ko nga, I, 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 I joke around and say, abunado pa ako most of the time. <laughs> but, you know, it's okay. I'm just hopeful that, you know, I, I'll do another business with them someday. So mm-hmm. and it's it's happening. So yeah. Well, that's the ano lang. That's the downside of what's happening with uh, yes. with the pandemic mm-hmm. is that mm-hmm. uh, a lot of cancellations and uh, a lot of people really don't know what the travel mm-hmm. uh, agencies or even from yourself uh, are going that's through. True. That's true. Uh, yes. When you return anything, uh, especially the the fare, when you yeah, refund yeah. and everything, it mm-hmm. it all uh, it all is a burden to the travel uh, mm-hmm. manager, right? So you know, sometimes least, you go mm-hmm, you go beyond your responsibility, right? And yeah. then some passengers they don't realize that they're just being like, <laughs> I don't want to say. At, it, at but... least, at least now with the you know with this, a lot of uh, Kababayan Sadin who are uh, watching this can mm-hmm. now see what you're going through and understand yeah. what what uh, these things are mm-hmm. uh, that these sure. things are happening. Now let's talk about mm-hmm. online selling. Okay, okay. Ati Ferry naman tayo. Ati Ferry, mm-hmm. what are the products that you sell? When you say online, because there's a variety of products. When I go yeah. on my Facebook and or Instagram or any social media, I see a lot of people doing a lot of stuff. And also not even just personally, but a lot of uh, companies too are doing online selling. So from your end, Ati Ferry Cortez, uh, first and foremost, what is the name of your company? Uh, my name of my company is Camiel Lux. Like I put like my, my three kids' first two letters name together, mm-hmm. combine it together. So it's like Camiel Lux. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah. what products are you selling? Um, right now I'm more on um, focusing for my luxury brands. But before I started with the uh, clothing, uh, yung mga customized giveaways, and then yung jewelries. And for now, I'm doing the luxury brands. Mm-hmm. Pero if somebody wants to order, uh, for example, a jewelry, I usually get them some also at the same time. Yeah. Okay. So luxury brands, um, these are more uh, bags? Yes. When, yeah. Uh, uh, or, po, I- yeah. More in like the purses, like the shoes, mm-hmm. anything. Yeah. Like because prices are way too high. So I'm giving them a, a choice of a payment plan. For right. after 12 months to pay, yeah, but which is like favorable for them since they don't want to bring uh to spend money in like right away. Mm-hmm. So, w- with regards to online selling, wh- when did you start? Kailan ka um, online selling? I started back in 2017 because my mom asked me if, like, uh, because we do have a clothing business back in the Philippines since 1982. Okay. So, like, my mom asked me, why can I try it here, like, register my own business? Mm-hmm. And then, like, just try it. Let's see if it's going to go well or, like, but think, thankfully, it, it's still, like, doing good right now for yeah, almost, yeah. like, four years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, you know what? Uh, I can relate to that. When, when we were growing up, my mom... Uh, wasn't uh, well, wala pang online noon, but mm-hmm. you know, when when you I, I uh, experienced that when she she anong tawag dito, ano ba sa Tagalog yung kumukuha ng stocks, parang she gets stocks mm-hmm. from a supplier. Uh, alam mo yung mga Giordano brands before, oh, yes, Giordano yeah, shirts, mm-hmm. yeah, so, and then she gets those stocks from somebody, and then 
parang consignment basis yata yung nangyayari and then and then yung una kasi walang online so parang friends yeah. muna tinatawagan oh meron ako dito and then the next thing you know is you go parang networking parang kung sino oh si That's ano right. si si baby yung name ng mom ko si tita baby merong mga shirt so you know it's mm-hmm. referral referral you know you know nangyari but now is it easier with the power of uh, technology or the uh, assistance of uh, social media is it easier kaya ang tinatawag na online selling has that been has that been uh, easy for both of you uh, with the with the service that you provide uh, siguro, let's uh, okay. go yeah, with, yeah, sorry. Yeah, go with, yeah sorry. Um, for me, siguro, it's a case-to-case basis. Eh. Depende siguro din sa uh, binibenta mo. Mm-hmm. For me kasi, it's a little bit easier kasi I'm, I'm more focused on one product, on one okay. kind. And like my target, I do have my own target already, which is like, in general naman, like it's not that hard to do it online. Uh, siguro for me, it depende lang talaga kung anong klase yung binibenta mo. Okay. How about yeah. you, uh, Alexis? Uh, uh, you know, yung yung social media ngayon is it uh, helping a lot? Oh yeah, because all, all you have to do is just share, right? Share lang, yeah. you advertise things, stuff online, stuff like that. Oh, medyo magkilip lang for me, I guess. If I do if I do online things, it's because, for example, I have a senior passenger, and it's mm-hmm. hard for them to understand things if I explain yung mga itinerary nila, stuff like that. Whereas mm-hmm. before, I, I meet with them, explain everything yeah. face-to-face, but now everything's online, so, yeah. Okay, so mm-hmm. there's there's always an advantage to to mm-hmm. these things. Parang, parang uh, check and balance yeah. na may yeah. advantage, may disadvantage yes, yes. online. Mm-hmm. Now, Ferry, can you can you share some uh, parang favorite story or an inspiring story uh, mo within line to your business? Um. Well, actually, like, uh, when I started... Uh, I started from scratch, like, mm-hmm. actually, my mom asked me to do it. So my mom helped me at least, like, trying to send package here. Mm-hmm. At first, it was, like, hard for me because I do eh. So yeah. I'm, I'm starting. Like, I use my own Facebook account to post my stops. And then and one of them, Ate Alexis, helped me, like, uh, post my, my, my clothing and stuff, like, okay. to her friends. Like, talagang... My, some of my friends are helping me to to expand it para mas makilala ba ako. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. How long have you been friends? Datanong ko lang, how long have you been friends with Dati Alexis? Um, I think, can Nine I ba? Nine years. 2012. Yes, yeah. So, almost 10 years. Diyan lang ba kayo nagkakala sa Red Deer? Yes, yeah. Yes, here in Red Deer. Sinong nauna sa Red Deer? Um, ako, 2008. Pero we're both Polinians in the Philippines, so mm-hmm. it's just like a, a different era, location. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. okay. So, Alexis, ikaw naman, what's your favorite, ano, uh, parang a story or uh, uh, something to share to to our viewers out there uh, in line with your business? Probably when I assisted this um, family in Grand Prairie. Mm-hmm. So, um, well, they couldn't travel to the Philippines due to the travel ban, closure of the airport, stuff like that. Now, they need to get their kid out of the Philippines because uh, the kid was a first-time immigrant. Uh, so, the, the kid had to travel alone. So, I assisted okay. them to the UM service, which is unaccompanied minor service. So, I just got emotional when my passenger sent me this uh, video. You know, the kid was, when they when the kid saw the mom in the airport crying, you know, they had each other, stuff like that. And sabi ko sa sarili ko, everything's worth it. Kasi for, for you to to, to uh, process the UM service, you have to secure the documents from the Philippines. So, tinutulungan ko sila get those permits, stuff like that. Alam mo naman sa Philippines, when you... When you call government offices, you know, yeah, wait yeah. naman, ba, super tagal, like that. So, sabi ko, everything's worth it. You know, the, the long distance calls, the long wait, sabi yeah. ko, worth it. When you see them, sabi ko, they, they, they haven't seen their kid for more than three years. Sabi ko, I cannot yeah. imagine myself not seeing my kid just for one day, di ba? What more sila? So, sabi ko, no, not everything is sales. Not everything is sales, you know? Sabi ko, when I see my passengers smiling and happy, sabi ko, everything's worth it because to be honest i really don't get much from this business it's just that i i just want to be there you know i, I like i said this business talagang nasa dugo ko na to yeah. and i want to do this mostly to help people because i don't like you know uh, 
scammers. Maraming scammers din ngayon. Online scammers, Correct, yeah. diba? Sa mga ticketing. So, yung ganun. When I, yung, yung story na yun sa family na yun, I just got so emotional when I when I, when I I saw the video sinan sa akin ng passenger ko na, wow, worth it din pala yung lahat ng paghihirap, you know, mga, sabi ko, I go beyond my responsibility, to be honest. And I, like I said, I don't get that much. But, you know, yeah. when I saw that, I go, ay, everything's worth it. Kaya, yun. Yung satisfaction mm-hmm. comes right true. at the very and when you see mm-hmm. the end result, parang ganun yung nangyayari, di ba? Yes, totoo. Uh, mm-hmm. Hindi naman, uh, you know, uh, to be to be uh, to, to be fair and uh, uh, parang honest with yung monetary is good. Yeah. We we can't yes, say it's not right. Mm-hmm. If we yes, we get yes, the monetary yes. parang uh, advantage or not advantage, mm-hmm. but just uh, the reward to it, that's good. But but yeah. with the service that you provide, yun yung pinaka magandang feeling. Above and beyond. Yeah. Above yes, and beyond. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Yeah. And si Ate Alexis mm-hmm. naman, I know that uh, na- na- nagpo-post ka ng if you need assistance and whatever, yeah. uh, please mm-hmm. contact me. Ganun yung, you never, mm-hmm. parang nakikita ko sa mga post mo, you never uh, get tired of uh, asking people to come and uh, contact yeah. me. I'll help you. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah, you, you have to let them know that you're there, right? How will they yes. know yeah. if, if you're doing this business if you're not going to like inform, advertise, stuff like that? Yeah, so... Okay, so, um, ito ngayon, Ati Ferry, how is the business doing so far? You started, uh, uh, sorry, you started what, uh, uh, last year, correct? Um, 2017. Oh, sorry, 2017. Yes, yeah. And then, uh, pandemic happened last year. So, how is the business doing so far? Uh, business is doing well, but like some, sometimes uh, it could be challenging since I have to juggle my time between my my business, my kids, and since I have to, I, I do have a part-time job as well. So it's very like for me it's critical because we don't have any other family here aside yeah, from me right. and my husband which is very challenging talaga. Pero uh, uh, yeah so far so good like yeah. I, I see you smiling so talagang so far so good. Yeah. <laughs> which is, yeah. Ate Alexis, sayo naman how is the travel business doing so far from from your end? Weird pero maraming passengers lately. Mm-hmm. But most of my passengers are, you know, mga, may, they needed to get their families to the Philippines, first time immigrants, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, mara, okay siya at the moment. <laughs> okay, at the mm-hmm. moment. And, well, with, with your response, happening, what's happening, you know, even even uh, with COVID, you, you, when yeah. you guys say everything's all good, that's a that's a good thing. Uh, that's mm-hmm. a that's a positive thing when you yes. guys are are uh, letting you know our viewers know that everything's all doing good because mm-hmm. uh, so far so far ngayon talagang a lot of businesses are struggling. It's still a struggle that mm-hmm. you're not you're not there because during before the pandemic talagang it was really good. Yeah. Diba? Parang mm-hmm. talagang it was really good travel. People were traveling everywhere. Si Ari, uh, ferry naman. People are just really wanting to buy stuff because mm-hmm. you know everything was normal. The yeah. The the paychecks the paychecks were coming in you yeah. so mm-hmm. people are, are doing that but now still with that 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 that's a good that's a good feedback now um one thing that uh, I I one thing that uh, I I want to ask pinakamalaking challenges that you guys have faced uh, let's start with uh, Ati Alexis uh, well as mentioned you know, I get a lot of refunds from the passengers mm-hmm. and you know I cannot blame them as well right. So refund, so financially, medyo down yung business talaga. Mm-hmm. And then, ayun nga, uh, what else? Cancellation, stuff like that. Because like I said, when people refund the ticket, we have to return the commission, right? And then I cannot like say, hey, return the freebie that I gave you, right? Ano lang ako, I'm very hopeful lang talaga na someday if everything's okay, when the pandemic is over, you know, we uh, got to do business with them again. So, yeah. Are the uh, online? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Are the uh, airlines right now uh, also helping you out? Are they also uh, making uh, compromises to to business women like you? To be honest, yes. Not really. First, okay. they, not mo- Well, they don't give waivers. You know, like mm. the refund, refund, the penalty stuff like that. They don't give those stuff. It's not open for everyone. So it's the big big factor then uh, I get a lot of complaints from my passengers like hey why do, why do, why do I have to pay for the rebooking fee the fare mm-hmm. difference stuff like that why is it hard to for the travel itself you know they Correct. should understand yeah. as well that it's the pandemic and a lot of schedule change so I 
based on my experience sa airline, I, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> not really. To be honest, not really. Sa, sa nasabi mo, with, with the passengers really hard to, parang hard to please, yeah. ayaw talagang mag-understand. Il, ilang, as a percentage lang, just give me a percentage. Uh, oh, out of, I would say maybe 70% out of 100%. Wow. Kasi iba naman, yes. I can ex- yeah, I can explain to yeah, them naman explain. properly. And then what I do is for them to really believe me is mm-hmm. talagang sinescreenshot ko yung reply ng airline to yeah. me. And then, oh, here's the response of the airline. Uh, you have to pay the, the, the rebooking fee and stuff like that. You have to follow the fair rules, yung mga ganun. It's not, it's not my doing, it's the airline doing, right? So I cannot do about it. It's either they refund or some iba naman, non-refundable. All they can yeah. do is just convert your ticket to travel fund. Those iba. Mm-hmm. We don't have plans to travel in the next two years. Blah blah stuff like that. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that's that's the uh, uh, sad part too. When you know the yeah. the company that you're helping also mm-hmm. uh, make make money or uh, get business is not mm-hmm. uh, compromising uh, in in, in ways. Adi Ferry, mm-hmm. with you, when you talk about uh, when you talk about your luxury brands, are you able to mention which uh, what brands are you are you uh, selling most? Uh, um, when I don't know if I'm allowed to mention any. Okay, well, if if not, yeah. then uh, yeah, we'll we'll um, just not. When it's luxury brand. I know, I know yeah. the ladies who know luxury brands. They probably know yeah. what they are. So yes, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just not mention uh, it. So um, when uh, anong tawag dito? They say that online selling is the future of retail. Would you agree on that one? Um, for me, because it's a case-to-case basis. Like, mm-hmm. uh, there's a pros and cons between the traditional selling and the online selling. Mm-hmm. Pero most of the people would still stick to the traditional one. But for now, kasi, because of this pandemic, mas nagiging boom ang online selling, mm-hmm. which for me is favorable also. But in the future, maybe you're, you're, I'm still considering of opening my own one, like having my own store, for example. Because okay. it's, it's, uh, it's very different to have your own store pa rin naman in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, still, but still have the online selling option. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 At first, <laughs> like in online selling is uh, slow. But mm-hmm. once people get to know your product, it can ramp up quickly though. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a good point there. Um, mm-hmm. Alam mo naman na during the start of pandemic, parang hindi tayo nakakapunta ng mall, and we were like, ah, it's okay. And that's then right. months passed, parang parang gusto nang pumunta ng mall. Eh. I wanna I wanna yeah. go and visit yeah. again. And then mm-hmm. actually, after parang eight months yata, we I think last few weeks we just uh, went to the mall, and parang it was a breath of fresh air. Now you you are there again, mm-hmm. walking around. You know, just still being safe, you know, hindi naman right. yung, ano, but talagang, it's still a good feeling na nakakapasok ka rin ng mall. <laughs> but, and yeah. like, probably like the other thing is like you would encounter some, um like not authentic ones, yeah. like the branded ones, which That's is like correct. very hard to, to see if you're selling the original one versus the, the fake one. So yeah. you have to deal with that because if you encounter a fake one and then you're telling your your customers that you're selling an authentic one, yeah. how would you even justify that? Kapag na found out nila na you're not selling it uh, right. authentically, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you have to have your proof na it was it is authentic. Because I experienced that I experienced it before na somebody sold me a a fake one. So it feels like a, a little bit weird weird for me. Pero ang ginawa ko pin authenticate ko siya. Just right. to be sure na before me selling to somebody else, ayokong magkaroon ng problema at the end of the day na mm-hmm. it's gonna be a bad record for me. I've been, I, I've had my my business since 2017 and for just like one problem, it yes, can wreck yes. my, my, my business. It can ruin, ruin yeah. everything. Correct. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes, yeah. And, and that's the one of the uh, challenges that uh, online selling faces is the authenticity of the product right. and the, how you justify it to uh, your, your customer. Yes, and, yeah. And again, everything is based on trust. Alam ko naman na you have been uh, uh, in in your line of business. Uh, a lot of people trust you, mm-hmm. and you you have you have ano ano tao dito. Nakita ko yung mga post mo. You if you are inspiring people also. Yung mga ano mo, yung mga right. posts that you do that mm-hmm. you post. Is, yeah, uh, very yeah. <laughs> very up, uplifting for me. Like like at least once in a day. I do read one of the quotes na makakapagpa-inspire sa akin a day. Like, which is a good thing for me to start each day. Parang ganun. 
Yeah. yeah, and kahanga-anga din yung uh, ginagawa ng mga business uh, people right now, which is really, it's it's a struggle for everybody, but you guys are still, you know, there. You are uh, uh, still providing the the service, the business. Some people just say, no, I'm just going to stop. Uh, ayoko nang sakit sa ulo, yung ganito. Yeah. But, yeah, but you guys are still there. But again, you know, I'm just going to clap my hands. But uh, mm-hmm. we still have a few more questions for you guys. <laughs> so, yeah. um, Ati Alexis, with regards to the... Uh, uh, pandemic how has it changed in the way you do business and how are you coping up well as i mentioned everything's online now so Mm -hmm. before i used to meet with my clients you know face to face explaining everything to them you know like like in detail stuff like that but right now talaga online lahat and yun medyo okay naman medyo, to be honest okay naman lately weird guy eh, pero lately okay naman yung yung business because of most most of my my travelers are doing the essential travel like family yeah. unification stuff like that mm-hmm. so yeah medyo okay naman siya <laughs> okay naman yeah um meron ngang anong tawag dito the the new uh, uh parang uh in the impose ngayon for the travelers we in the the, mm. the three day the three day rule parang i parang, know yeah. Right? And so it's different you know how, than 14 day. 14 yeah, days. You know how, how, you for, no, that's may, may pa rin. And do you know how much yung rate sa hotel? Just yesterday, I was so busy kasi nga doing all the rebooking and stuff for my passengers. And then I have this passenger who, who told me na nag-book daw sila ng hotel um, that's per night. I, I'm, not, I'm not joking. Uh, per night is $785 per oh night. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, no wonder. Our prime You're in told us Canada, that, ate? Yeah, in Canada, because you have to wow. do your three-day quarantine in your first oh uh, entry in Canada, which is in Vancouver. So mm-hmm. the per night is the cheapest one. I, well, based of yes, as of yesterday, the passenger is five hundred seventy-five. That's as of lunchtime, and then at five p.m., a passenger called me. I nakapagbuka ko, but the rate is seven uh seven hundred eighty-five dollars per night. And I was like, oh, oh my God, goodness! Wow. Imagine that. Aside from that, yeah. the swab test pass stuff like that. So correct. Yeah. That, mm, it's not so, a joke. <laughs> I'm just wondering uh, regarding the pricing. Is mm-hmm. it because uh, they know that the uh, passengers are on quarantine, or would that have been different if just a? Uh, it's just local. Like I just want to stay in a hotel, or I have to let them know that I'm gonna be on a three day parang quarantine. No, so the government gave us this number, so that that not, the only way you can book your three day quarantine is through that number. So the rate is really okay. different. If you call through that number, they will know that you're going to do the quarantine. So the rate is different. Because I checked in other online sites how much mm-hmm. is the rate of this hotel. And it's so cheap compared Correct. to calling yes. in the hotline that the government gave us. So I was shocked. But you know, everything, well, well, they said three, the, what, included in the, 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 pay, the, the amount that you paid is the meals. Well, just the mm-hmm. uh, three-day meals and then what else? The transportation, I guess. Stuff Correct, like that, yeah. but even though it's so expensive, yeah, that's still right? that's still uh, heavy on uh, on the budget. Uh, you know, know, for for those who are mm-hmm. really on a budget, uh, especially yeah. traveling at this uh, period of time. Wow, mm-hmm. that is very interesting, and uh, that's a good information right? to uh, yeah. to give out there to to our Kababayans who might have family coming mm-hmm. over in the next few uh, uh, months or weeks. Because yeah. uh, I think it started on the twenty second. Yeah, yun yung uh-huh. uh, the twenty second. Yeah, yun started. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. Well, th- good things mm-hmm. to learn <laughs> with uh, Alexis uh, regarding mm-hmm. travel. Now, um, yeah. at the ferry, tips naman. Can we provide some tips to aspiring sellers who are listening right now? Parang, okay, I want to sell something. So, ano ba yung uh, pwedeng maging tip ni uh, Ati Ferry for us? Um, I'm just giving an example because I experienced by uh, this uh, another like our kababayan who messaged me and asking like she wants some help for posting her her stuff because mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like I told her just continuously uh, posting your product the more you know your product the better the more mm-hmm. you can defend what's what's in it what are you selling to because dun magbebase ang mga tao eh. If you're mm-hmm. not familiar with what you have, and then you started selling it, and then people keep on asking for something, they, of course, people would keep a lot of, uh, like ask a lot of question. It's, we're not talking just like a dollar here, we're talking a thousands of dollars for spending luxury mm-hmm. brands. So they will ask for everything, for, for all of the questions that they wanna know. So like, 
be be calm, be patient kasi marami kang may encounter tan talaga minsan may rude pero at the end of the day they will still go back to you and realize that uh it's worth it to get something from me for example like that yeah as long as you be of like be, be patient to them don't be rude like keep on posting your products as well yeah just don't stop doing it kasi sometimes like people would post it today and then probably the next one will be after two months which mm-hmm. is very very far from the gap ba must yeah. prefer nila na you would continuously post your stuff okay. para makikita nila every day kung ano yung meron ka yes yeah when when regards to uh, when you say uh, yung yung patience how hard is it to, t- to oh it's very parang... hard like like maraming actually may mga rude talaga na yeah. na gustong bumili sa yo pero parang yeah, parang, I don't know. You just want to get a pillow and then parang That's right. Yeah, kasi you, you can't ignore them. Like, yeah. it's better to answer them. Like, as long as you answer them nicely, nice, properly, yeah. with, 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 with respect still, at the end of the day, babalik pa rin sila sa'yo eh. Even Correct. if they are rude. At siguro for me... And uh, it, it's, it has a different... Uh, uh, perspective in nangyari. But even if they argue and argue, alam mo naman maraming mm-hmm. customers din that they don't know but they want to f- let you feel that they know. Parang mm-hmm. ganun, diba? Ala naman. Like, alam, ko yun, alam kong ganito. And then you just go like, yeah. oh, well, you know what? I just have to explain to you na, yeah. no, it's not right. This is what's... This That's is right. I, I wouldn't argue in a bad way. Like, I would explain my side. I would explain what my product is. But yes. if they are not contented with that, I would mm-hmm. move on. I will move yeah, on. Yeah, just move on. Like, yeah, just, yeah uh, yes, yeah. And I would just like tell them if they need something else, just message us back. That that's fine with us. If they don't get, if they don't buy it, that's okay also. But if, it's all up to them though. As yeah. long as you don't do something bad to them, that's that should be good. Yeah. Sabihin niyo na lang na okay, you don't want my product. Punta ka dito na online seller. Which is, <laughs> that, that's right. Asa mo dun. Tapos alam mo niyo yun, yun yung parang yun nagagalit yun. So, oh yeah. <laughs> so, um, Ati uh, Alexis, uh, for you naman, what is the guiding principle uh, for Alexis Tolentino in, in when it comes to business? Well, uh, I would say honesty, integrity. I value integrity because I want people to value my word as well and my work. And, you know, I want to deliver what I promised them. You know, best service, excellence in service. I want to I want to ensure that my passenger will get the best effort from me during and after transaction. Because, you know, an after sales is very important. And I always mm-hmm. say that uh, I, I, I don't and will not leave my passengers hanging. So Correct. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And, and you, Ati Ferry, what's uh, your guiding principle when it comes to your business, your online business? Um... For my like the principle for me like sabi ko nga like stick to what I believe like mm-hmm. as long as I'm not hurting anybody because there's a lot of competitions outside like Correct. yeah yeah you you can't avoid it people would some of them would like literally ask me and then would end up na nalalaman ko sila pala yung, fish lang pala sila which is Mm-hmm. I find it normal though, kasi syempre, they want they want to see what's on my part, uh, my product, what are my offers. Pero you stick to what you have. Like you don't need to you don't need to step up right away. Pero para kang lumalag pasca step by step. You just want to jump right away without knowing your products are. So yeah, parang yun. I don't know. It's, it's so funny when uh, when I've experienced this a long time ago when uh, my my dad opened up a barbecue uh, business. Uh, you know, parang sa sa ano lang sa one of the places na nagtatamba yung mga tao on the weekend. Na uh, you know they they found out na oh it's good to sell something here. So they 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 put up a barbecue, just a small barbecue mm-hmm. every Saturday. And daming pumupunta ko makain. Yeah. And then the next thing you know, the next Saturday sa gilid. <laughs> <laughs> Meron ng yes, yeah. yeah, I so think that's one, normal to Filipinos. <laughs> yes. So Actually, one, yeah, and then same, same here, Sayo, Alex. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Normal naman nata yun sa Filipinos. <laughs> then nakikita mo on the following weekend, apat na yung nagbitin yes. na sa barbecue. Sabi ng dad ko, uh-huh. no, I'll, I'll just buy na lang kasi yeah. <laughs> parang ang hirap uh-huh. apat na kami ng barbecue. That was uh-huh. just, you know, that's something that uh, nagiging parang we, we've experienced so much mm-hmm. of that. That's right. Yeah. Ganyan din yung naging mentality ko at first. Para sabi ko, people would do the same thing that that what, what I'm doing. So I told I told my husband one time na I would give up. 
like mm-hmm. go and go into the other one instead kasi yeah. instead of me ah uh, like competing with them they would mm-hmm. do the same thing eh so yeah. i would like there's a lot of choices that i can do I, I i i'm not gonna stick with clothing naman i'm not gonna stick with with mm-hmm. jewelries like i have other options i'm good at it kumbaga sabi ko yeah. i'm open to anything kasi instead na makipagtalo ka or makipag-argue ka or makipag-compete ka for them you know your you know your capabilities naman eh so yeah so for for both of you how do you guys measure uh, success uh at ferry um for me like uh kasi as of now i'm still like working on it like for me uh, it's not enough na what i'm doing right now i'm still aiming for more i'm still I'm still looking for more for myself. Siguro I I I, I proved something already for, to myself, pero siguro I still want to expand more. I still need to learn a lot of things pa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pero pero which is good for me na natutu, natututo ako at the same time and uh it's a good thing for me for like for my negative uh siguro my 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 negative far negative side, I'm learning from it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and that that's uh that's uh one thing that we we all we all are uh learning uh every day until parang you know we never stop learning. See, Ati Alexis, mm-hmm. naman, what is your uh measure of success? Simple, I would say na if I see a smile on my passenger's face, masasabi ko na I'm successful in what I do. Simple mm-hmm. as that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's mm-hmm. that's good. Mm-hmm. Going back to uh, Ati Ferry, when when you say uh you know uh, parang learning it's it's parang that's that's a good thing kasi when when you as a person know that you don't know everything mm-hmm. and there's always changes that you need to make and you you begin to learn that we all make mistakes diba that's ang right. problema lang kasi with some they judge you on your mistakes right away and that's that's mm-hmm. the that's parang a percentage of a lot of people do that in in so many ways wherein right. a lot of people just think about people also make mistakes but If you do say do the same mistake twice, thrice, or four times, that's you know that's a different story. A different one, yeah, that's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's right. Yeah. 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 Sabi so, ko nga, uh, wala namang wala namang perfect na tao eh. Kung baga, yeah. even if I'm like five years or ten years on my in my business, I still have this like error na na may experience ko, and I'm still learning. Uh, every day, I, we we're all be learning. Everyone here. Okay, well, guys, you know what? Uh, talagang it was uh, very informative for 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 uh, you to be on the show and provide your, uh, you know, your knowledge and uh, your experience. Now, advice to your fellow business people, uh, Ate Alexis. Well, just don't give up, and mm-hmm. also, I it's it's nice also if you know to to support other local businesses like mm-hmm. me. I support mostly here like in here in our city i suppose i i i i what do you call this i um support um filipino owned um businesses, businesses so yeah. mostly yeah for example for my freebies i i purchase gift cards from other restaurants which is filipino owned just to support them as well kasi mas magaling ganun diba support local so especially our kababayans you know support each other stuff That's like right. that and just never give up It's never naman, yeah, Ati Ferry, ano yung uh, yeah. advice mo? Uh, I just want to say, like, uh, before I'm doing, like, the customized uh, giveaways, Ati Alexis is buying some from me also as a wow. giveaway for her tickets and stuff. Yeah, like, that's how she supported her kababayans as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same thing with Ati Alexis. Be positive with you, with what you're doing. Like, mm-hmm. don't give up. Uh, whatever happened, uh, just, just keep standing, though. Mm-hmm. Wala ka na, as long as wala ka naaapakan, you're good. Like yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? Again, it's uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. So why don't you invite our kababayans who are listening uh, to broadcast one Flipside Radio uh, with with the business that you have, uh, Ati Ferry? You go you go first and uh, invite invite in million kababayan natin to uh, maging ano sila sa online uh, business mo. Ah uh, yes yeah uh, hi everyone uh thank you for listening also here and I'm inviting you to like check my Facebook page and you can also like add me on my Facebook uh my name is Ferry Cortez on Facebook or my uh Facebook uh my group page there uh named Camille Lux you can message me anytime I'm posting regularly for my products that I'm selling there um purses 
uh, clothes, anything that you want, just let me know. And I'm open also for payment plan as well. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Ati Ferry. And how about you, uh, Ati Alexis? Why don't you invite uh, our viewers out there? Yes, hi. So if you need tickets, uh, travel insurance, you can contact me. You can search my name, just Maria Alexis Tolentino or Alexis, your international travel. Then just message me and then, yeah, we'll talk. <laughs> Okay. Well, you know what? All the viewers out there, we're gonna put uh, uh, Ati Ferry Cortez link on the uh, on the uh, post here that we're gonna do on our uh, broadcast one flip side page, and also uh, Ati Alexis link uh, her number mm -hmm. and for you to contact them uh, if they've got email and also their uh, Facebook uh, Facebook links uh, that we're gonna add it on. So there you go, our uh, uh, Alberta business women. Yon, yung mga from Red Deer, Alberta. Mm -hmm. Gano'n ba kalamig yung Albert, uh, Red Deer ngayon? How, how uh, cold is it there? Right Are now, at, I uh, think it's minus 10. Minus 10? Uh, last week, minus 40 and stuff. I think it's, I think it's minus 3 right now. I Ay, ngayon? <laughs> See, I yeah, don't know. <laughs> na, nakalabas ba kayo, <laughs> anong tawag dito, uh, for the past two weeks? Did you guys have the minus 40s and 50s the last couple oh, of weeks? Yeah. yeah. Minus 50 plus, I think. Yes. <laughs> that, that, yes. that was it's last week. Cool. Can you yeah, yes, Ate, yeah. Amazing. Last week. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so before before I let you go, guys, uh, for our viewers again, uh, Red Deer, Alberta, uh, is uh, again, it's is it north? I'm not too familiar. Okay? I'm just not gonna go ge geographical because hindi ko alam talaga yung yeah. sit north mm -hmm. or south. But pag pupunta yung mga kababayan natin to Red Deer, Alberta. Ano bang meron sa Red Deer? Uh, aside from the two beautiful ladies here who had their businesses, uh, what can we parang uh, go? Hmm. Ano, where can we go? Ano ba yung magandang puntahan dyan sa Red Deer? Oh, like the slides, ate. Like the one in Sylvan Lake also. Okay. One, yeah. Yeah, lakes. But to be honest, wala masyado. Our city is oh. small. <laughs> We're just Our like in the middle. Small. Yeah, yeah. Middle, pero yeah. yeah, small but complete na rin. So yeah, mm -hmm. we have the lake here, Sylvan Lake. Famous din naman yeah. yan. Yeah, I think it's 30 minutes, yeah, 30 minutes away from Red Deer, right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, mga, uh, Sylvan Lake is famous here. So, but here in Red Deer itself, not um, wala masyado. Kasi wala usually masyado. it's like, yeah, you have to travel for an hour or two to go to Calgary or Edmonton. Calgary or Edmonton. Zoo, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. And usually, ganun naman yung nangyayari sa atin dito, even in Saskatchewan, you have mm -hmm. to travel like a 30 minute. A drive yeah. or an hour drive just to go to the to the lakes na gusto mo. There's some oh, that are closer, yes. pero some of us really want to go to nicer uh, uh, mm -hmm. areas na pupuntahan natin. But yeah, hopefully uh, yung mga kababayan natin who are listening to the uh, uh, broadcast right now, not only are you going to have uh, service and the business that uh, our uh, Red Deer kababayans uh, Alexis and Ferry have for you, uh, you can also check out what's uh, happening at uh, Red Deer if you want to visit uh, Red Deer, Alberta. But for Ati Alexis, the travel manager, if you want to travel, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, walang sakit sa ulo for for uh, the bookings and get get uh, good prices on your airfare. And she goes ex the extra mile. You know, may mga freebies kayo uh, that you'll receive to when you uh, 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 get or avail of her service and then talagang when something happens si Ate Alexis na nag-absorb ng sakit sa ulo but <laughs> but again <laughs> but again it's the, it's the service that we provide and we should yeah. be helping our kababayan support local yeah. Filipino businesses mm -hmm. yeah. and with Ate Ferry naman you know uh, luxury uh, items naman if you want it uh, online selling with Camille Lux is that uh, that's uh, right. Yeah. Right, right okay Camille Lux online again we're gonna post uh, the links here on Facebook so that you guys can uh, hook up with them and uh, uh, support local uh, businesses here with the uh, Ati Ferry online business from clothing, jewelry, and to luxury products. Ladies, thank you very much for gracing our uh, show. You. Maraming salamat sa Thank inyo. you for having us, Kuya. Yes, thank you're you very this. welcome. Mm -hmm. and, and any other, <laughs> yes, I will. And uh, any other... Uh, uh, items or services, please, please do 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 post it here on our broadcast one flip side page, and please also invite uh, your friends to like our uh, broadcast one flip side radio. And there you go, guys. Our uh, let's talk business live here at broadcast one flip side radio uh, here in Saskatchewan, brought and uh, heard in Canada 
and heard all over the world through the power of the internet. This is Atiferi Cortez and Alexis Tolentino from Red Deer, Alberta, and Chris Rod saying thank you. And I have another show later on with yeah. uh, musicians. That's right, aspiring wow. musicians, young musicians cool. from Filipinos. Ontario, Filipino musicians mm -hmm. from nice. Ontario. They are young, but they are aspiring. One is a composer, so that will be at three o'clock this afternoon. So I'll see you then. Wow. Thank you very much, guys. And you have Thank a great you. day. Thank God you. bless. Bye. Bye. Bye.